Hi there, I'm Chandler, and I'm with my friend Gorn today, and we are both tree mythology professors at the University of Connecticut. We both have PhDs, and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to play some chivalry in the meantime, because when we're not destroying evil trees and preventing the Illuminati from taking over the world, we like to play chivalry. So we're in a free-for-all match here today, and stuff's going on. Yes, so, definitely. Yeah. Yes. So what do you have to say about the trees and the Illuminati? Well, the trees and the Illuminati, they go way back. I mean, we have historical evidence that trees and the Illuminati go all the way back to medieval times. Obviously here. Obviously. You know, they work together in coalition, you know, to try and conquer the world. I mean, the Illuminati is... Nobody can really define what exactly the Illuminati is. The same thing, nobody can really define what trees are. Now, our belief from our studies at the University of Connecticut are that trees are not actually what they appear to be. They're actually sentient beings that whose sole purpose is to destroy humanity. And this has only been recently discovered by our fellow mythology professors at uh, the University of Connecticut. And we've done multiple research studies discovering and comparing and contrasting why trees are the ultimate ruler of the planet and that's what we're trying to prevent trees will rise up from the ground and try and take over the universe we have proven this yes that is very real we have we have again and again proven that trees are rising up and will conquer humanity but you see as tree mythology professors from the University of Connecticut our mission while being to teach people about the threat of trees and the Illuminati is to also prevent them from taking over the world. What we do is we regularly perform very um, complicated rituals to uh, make sure that the trees can't rise up. We continue to make them appear as what they appear to be. Basically like regular ordinary people that don't have PhDs and aren't tree mythology professors. They like us. See trees, yes, like us. They only see trees as being um, just basically giant hunks of wood. But tree mythology professors like us from the University of Connecticut who have PhDs, we see trees as being uh, what they really are, which are sentient demons sent to Earth by aliens working in coalition with the Illuminati to actually conquer humanity. So what we do is basically kill trees and prevent the Illuminati from taking over mankind. And also, when you go around and maybe see in some of your neighborhood that construction workers are taking down your trees, those you're not really seeing that. Those are illusions created by the Illuminati to make you think that they're making the world a better place. That's right, my friend Goran. Because as you notice, trees are actually invincible in real life. So, like Goran said, when you see, you know, people cutting down trees with chainsaw, axes, other human devices, they aren't actually cutting down the tree. The tree is actually creating its own illusion to make it appear as though it's been killed, but it's actually just become an even more sentient being and created what we call a tree demon. And this tree demon goes around and collects souls. And this is what we have to do as well. We have to use special axes and chainsaws to prevent these trees from collecting the souls. So we are actually saviors of both the visible world and the spirit world. Uh, me and my fellow tree mythology professors at the University of Connecticut who have PhDs. And uh, we play chivalry in the meantime. Yeah, chivalry is a very good training tool for helping us defeat the Illuminati and trees. Because in chivalry, we can tr see trees and the Illuminati for what they truly are. Uh, in this game, trees are a creation and also an illusion created by man, which in a sense is true in reality, but also not true in a sense, because trees both created themselves and made themselves to appear that they were created by man or some kind of overlord god. So trees are both created by man and not created by man. Everything you are walking on right now and looking at is made by trees. 
Yes, uh, trees and the Illuminati, they're in everything. They're in uh, the music industry. Um, they're even in bed with Kanye West. The trees are already starting to rise up, but, you know, we already work 80-hour weeks uh, keeping trees from taking over the world, and it's very intensive labor. So, in our free time, we do like to play chivalry. Oh, all the time. Very fun game. You know, it's a very educational tool, too, you know. If you want to teach your children how to defeat the Illuminati and uh, trees, tell them to play chivalry. Like my fellow professors in tree mythology at the University of Connecticut. And we all have PhDs. In Greek mythology. Of trees. Yes, Greek, uh, Roman... Uh, Saskatchewan. See, as you can see, Sleepy has one, and he's he's a uh, he's a tree. And yes. uh, on the next episode of Chivalry Tree Warfare, we will talk about giant death lasers from space. Yes, giant death lasers are a very real threat, Warren. Next and time we will discuss that next time. Yeah.